Welcome to day two of year six's maths for week one of the spring term. Today we're going to be looking at how we convert fractions into percentages. The statement on the screen says that all fractions can be converted to percentages and vice versa. Thinking back to our learning from yesterday, what does percent mean? Percent means out of 100. When we talk about percentages, we are referring to a fraction that is over 100. So instead of writing it as a fraction, we use the percent symbol. In effect, all it really is telling us in this example you can see is 59% is effectively 59 over 100. Not all fractions have a denominator of 100 though, so you need to convert the fraction into one that does. Have a think about how you would convert 23 over 25 into a percentage. So in order to solve this problem, I need to think what I'm going to do in order to get my denominator, in this case 25, up to 100. So I need to tackle it in a couple of steps. So, how many times will 25 fit into 100? Well, I know from using my maths that 25 is a quarter of 100. So if it is one quarter of 100, then I know that 25 will fit into 100 four times. So my maths is 25 times four equals 100. Now, you need to remember that whatever we're going to do to the denominator, we also must do exactly the same to the numerator, in this case, 23. It might be a little bit harder to use mental arithmetic to get 23 multiplied by four, so you might wanna just set that out in the column method but 23 multiplied by four equals, now please forgive me for uh, using this mouse. I've have actually ordered a, an electronic pen, so the writing should be a little bit neater after the next couple of days. But let's try and do the maths anyway. Four times three will give me 12. And then four times two will be eight plus the one at the bottom, will be 9. My answer is 92. So here you can see my 25 here multiplied by 4 gave me my 100 and then my 23 multiplied by 4 gave me 92. So to convert my fraction 23 over 25 into a fraction that was over 100, I needed to multiply the denominator and the numerator by four. Step two is now just a case of using my numerator, in this instance, 92, and putting it in front of the percentage sign, because remember that percent means out of 100. So 92%. Have a go at trying to convert two fifths into a fraction over 100 and then making that a percentage. You can stop the video for a moment and I will continue and give you the answer in a second. OK, so I know I've got two fifths. Now, I need to now do some maths in order to make my, new, uh, my denominator sorry, over 100. So I've got to make that equal something over 100. Now, how many times does 5 fit into 100? Well, again, I can do a little bit of bus stop maths. My, my 100 inside the bus stop 
and my 5 outside the bus stop. And think, how many times does 5 fit into 1? Well, it doesn't go. Exchange my 1 into the next column along. How many times does 5 fit into 10? It goes twice. How many times does 5 fit into 0? It doesn't. So in reality, 5, to make it into 100, I need to multiply it by 20 because it goes 20 times. Now, remember, whatever you do to your denominator, you must also do to your numerator. So this one, my 2, I also need to multiply by 20. 2 times 20, I know is 40. So I have got my fraction over 100 as 40 over 100. My next step is to create my percentage. So I simply use my numerator and then I include the percent sign, 40%. Have a go at the home learning today, converting your fractions into percentages. And look very carefully at what the questions are asking you to do. The first box, number one, has got some arrays and it's asking you to work out certain percentages of certain colours. The second box over here is to fill in missing numbers. And so you are converting smaller fractions, so they are fractions over 100, and then you are going to show what the percentages are. The third box over here, you are going to convert all of those fractions into percentages. So that's question A. There are three questions in part A. There are three questions in part B, C and D. And there are um, changing denominators as you go along. Once you have converted them, this question at the bottom asks you, what else do you notice? So please take very careful note of your observations. And question number four over here, you need to shade the grid into the proportion shown. So it says three fifths will be green. So you're going to need to work out how you are going to shade this grid, three parts of it in green. 14% yellow, sorry, 14% red, 4 twentieths blue, and the rest yellow. And at the bottom, it's got a question which says, what percentage of the grid is yellow. Good luck, and I'll see you on the Zoom meetings if there are any issues.